What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Pitter Patter Pop. I'm just leaving out the JoJo portion of the introduction so it doesn't take 45 seconds for me to say the entire name of the game. Uh, so today we're talking about this man, Kosaku Kira. I I'm not calling him Kosaku Kawajiri because it's not who he is. It's just Kira with his face on. So he's Kosaku Kira, people, okay? So uh, he is the, the newest new character that came out. There is another banner up now. Well, you know what? We're going to talk about that new banner, okay? Look at this banner. So you've got voiced Josuke, who is just so good. One of the best characters in the game. And then you've got, like, my man, Fortaro, who gets rerun every... I feel like he gets rerun every couple months, but, like, he's I'm still the best character in the game. And then, look at this final step. You either get part four Jotaro, voiced Josuke... Yuya Fungami or <laughs> Okuyasu. What kind of sick individual made this final step? Look at it. Look. So, like, Yuya is not good. Uh, but no one really pulled for him when he came out because, of course, you didn't. So, like, at least him being on this banner is like, maybe you get a collection piece. Okuyasu's a launch character. So, like, at least I'm pretty sure he was. If he wasn't a launch character, he's very early on, because I started playing. I started playing when Part Four Jotaro first dropped, and Okiyasu was already in the game for a long time at that point. Um, like, who did this? This is why I say that I, I hate step ups in this game, because they give you just false hope of like what could be. Like, yeah, oh man, this final step is all you gotta. 25% chance of getting part 4 Jotaro. But we both know you're walking out of here with three Yuya Fungamis and seven copies of Okuyasu. And you're not getting Josuke or Jotaro. Ever. Like, oh my god. At the very least, just make it between Josuke and Jotaro. Because even then, if you're only pulling for one of them, you still have the people who are, have a percent chance of not getting the one they want and they gotta keep going again. But Yuya Fungami and Okuyasu, that's such a Bandai, you guys aren't right, man. Whoever made that banner should probably go through like some kind of psychosis test. Like one of those are you a sociopath tests. Speaking of are you a sociopath, maybe it was Kosaku Kira who made that banner. Because he is also a bad person. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to talk about him because um, he feels super underwhelming for a limited unit. But... In his defense, I don't think that translates to him being bad. Because I don't think he's bad. I just think he kind of is. He hits the same number of tiles as Okuyasu does. But he does it in this kind of square pattern right here. Um, which is fine. The problem is that, like, you'll see it in a second when I do it again. Um... This team is fun, by the way. This this team literally just explodes everything constantly. It has a problem where the damage is not um, as great as it could be. You could definitely get more damage out of what they do, but like they hit so many times, it's just really fun to play. Um, oh my god, come on. There we go. Uh, eh, 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 eh. So I should get... All these charged boys down there, yeah. So as you can see, you saw it a second time, and you'll see it again here, Kira's pattern rotates around the board, which I don't understand the purpose of that. I mean, it feels like a gimmick specifically for this score attack, so they could just be like, look, here's the thing that Kira does. Uh, it's built just, don't you want him? Because it's built exactly for this. But, like, also no, right? Because why would you ever want this normally? I don't personally see what value, if any, this weird little rotation mechanic adds to the character. Maybe I'm dumb. And, like, someone out there is, like, the goat Winchester or whatever who is, like, by the by, this rotating ability actually makes him broken. And I'm just, I mean, I'm not ruling it out. I'm just saying, I see no actual purpose 
for why you would want your character's ability to rotate around the screen. <laughs> so you'd have no idea. Where, well, I mean, you do have an idea because it, it rotates. But, like, sometimes I'll lose track. Like, when I'm using him, I'll go to blow something up, and I'll be like, oh, that's not even where I thought it was going to be. And so I do it too soon or something and mess up what I'm going for. And it's just like, why does it exist? Why did you do that? And so, like, be also because his pattern is basically just a giant 4x4 four four square, um, it doesn't, like, 100% line up with a lot of characters, but then it also doesn't, like, fail to line up at all with characters. It, it's interesting. I, I'm not saying that he's, like, not good, because I actually think he's he's solid. He's, like, a... He's basically Okiasu, right? Like, he's the same character. Um, he, he hits the same spots for the same space or whatever. and Not the same spots, but he hits the same number of tiles. Uh, I think his cooldown is even the same. I'm, like, 90% sure his cooldown is exactly the same as Okiasu's cooldown. And so, like, if you think Okiasu's good, you think Kira is good. But that stupid rotation just feels like an intentional limitation that serves no purpose other than making him a worse version of, of Okiasu. Because Okiasu's ability is consistent and reliable, and this is not. Um, sounds like I'm hating on him more than is due, and I don't mean to be, because I actually do think that he's fun. Um, it's the first time, really, with a Kira unit that I've been like, wow, this guy is, is neat, because Kira units are always kind of generic and crappy and not fun or good. <laughs> um, you know, don't quote me on that, but generally... I find Kira units to be underwhelming and mediocre. Uh, it's nice that I don't feel like this one is. I feel like he is pretty good, but at the same time, it's still like, who cares? Like, man, what are you, what are you doing? This is not exciting. I think I wouldn't be so hard on him. I've been hard on the new units lately, except for Voice Risotto. I've been really loving him. But um, I feel like I would love him a lot more if he wasn't a limited unit. You know what I mean? It feels like he's just underwhelming to be a limited. Like, he shouldn't be one. Um, which maybe is unfair, but it just doesn't... He doesn't feel like he has the oomph that a limited unit should have, right? Why is your limited unit just a bad Okiyasu? Not a bad Okiyasu, he's just... He's the same thing. But why is he, like, a marginally less reliable Okiyasu? Maybe he has a better damage multiplier. I don't... I don't really know. Like, that did a lot of damage right there. Which, but, I mean, he also hit a ton of charge tiles. And I'm pretty sure I've hit similar numbers with Okiyasu using, like, Voice Josuke in the past. So maybe he has, like, a marginally higher damage multiplier. I don't know. It's just it's just not good enough to be uh, limited. That's that's my thought on it. And then, as you can see, we're at, like, 50% of our skill uses. And um, I'm not even going to do that because I need to blow up that bottom one. And I don't, I don't remember where Kira's rotation is because I've been talking. So, oh, thank God it was in the right spot. Um, but, like... We're at half our skill uses, and we're at 4 million. So as much as I love a team like this, because, you know, it's cool that Fugo can be relevant again, because I love me some Fugo. Um, the power is not 100% there. You really need to pair him with, like, a Time Stopper. Obviously, Time Stoppers are the meta even more than ever now with the limitations on skills. Um, that really kind of kicks Risotto, like, not out of the meta, but there's a reason you don't see regular Risotto quite as often as you used to. Um, and there's a reason that Voice Risotto, who has a crazy multiplier with Time Stoppers, is, like, the bomb right now. Like, this fight does Voice Risotto no favors, and I'm pretty sure all the top teams are using him. So take from that what you will. But, like, Kira doesn't feel like he's bringing anything new or exciting to the table. He just seems like he is uh, a solid option for like, a Time Stopper to use in, like, specific stuff. Like, I'm sh I bet he's in the top 100 somewhere. I haven't even bothered to check what the top 100 is. Um, after the, the influx of Voice Risotto, I was like, oh, I know what's going to happen in, in Score Attack from now on. It's going to be a lot of Voice Risotto. And uh, I am not the man to be utilizing Voice Risotto like that, so I'll just do it for my rewards and be on my way. Um... And, like, maybe there's some cool stuff you can do with Kira that makes him, like, a crazy monster or something that I don't know about. Never ruling that out. But at least on a surface level, to me, he feels very generic, uh, very plain. Which I guess is kind of fitting, isn't it, for, for Kira, like, his personality. 
where he just wants to not be too happy, but not... I don't want to... I, I didn't need to be top tier, but I didn't want to be bottom tier garbage either. So I made this version of myself where I am kind of acceptable. I'm, like, pretty good. And how about that? He is kind of pretty good. I, I like him. I think he's a nice uh, man. That's what I got for him right now. He's a he's a good a good boy that kills women. Oh man, that's not. That's not. I should. Edit, I'm gonna edit that out. I should edit that out. Okay, guys, <laughs> edit that out. Um. He's he's fine. I I don't know. It's hard for me to be excited for him, especially with a part four Jotaro banner up, even if it is the most sadistic banner I've ever seen in my entire life. Um. Actually, that's not true. The most sadistic banner I've ever seen in this game is uh. The, the initial risotto banner that had all of La Squadra on it. So it was full of, like, crappy GRs and a bunch of SRs, and it was just, like, who okayed that? But this one's pretty bad, because it has uh, voiced... Uh, voiced blah, 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 blah. It has voiced Josuke and Part 4 Jotaro and a bunch of crap. But... Talking about that banner again, I'm more upset about the banner than I am interested in talking about Kira. <laughs> Um, talking about that banner again, it's got Okuyasu on it, who is just, like, the better version of this. So just pull him. Just pull him instead. The only reason to really pull this Kira, he's not even voiced, man. Which, I, I guess that's because they want to save voice Kira for Bites the Dust. Not like you can't have more than one voiced version of the character, though. Is that, like, some rule they put somewhere? Because you know we're going to get a voiced Gold Experience Requiem. That's in our future. That's going to happen. Um, I don't know. It's just like he's not even voiced. The coolest thing about him, um, which I bet most of you will agree with, is his animation. Look at this man. Boom. I'm walking in your apartment. Boom. I'm going to make your girlfriend cut my nails and then blow her face up. Boom. Like that's that's the Kira. The, to me, that scene is my favorite Kira. It's like the most memorable Kira scene. Because you see him, like, be a creepy weirdo, and, like, he beats up Koichi, but, like, anybody could have done that. <laughs> Beating up Koichi is not, like, you know, you're not impressing anybody. That's just a thing that happens to Koichi. So, like, that was whatever. But when he's out here, like, just murdering these people in their apartment, that was so, like... And then he, he fought Shigechi, and he killed Shigechi, which was very sad. But, like, I don't care really about Shigechi. I don't know. I don't know the level of unacceptable it is to not care about Shigechi, but I am not the boy's biggest fan. So to me, that was kind of a weak uh, use of a character death. And I was like, oh, well, you know, Dio killed all my favorite characters and Kira killed this annoying kid that I'm glad I don't have to see anymore. Um, and then they just busted out this scene where all he did was just like walk in and this dude was like, get out of my apartment. And he was like, no. And he blew the man up by his face. And then he got the girlfriend to clip his nails. And then he killed her. Oh, man. That was like the coolest, like, okay. Now I see why they need to stop this guy. Because holy crap. That was awesome and evil. And creepy. And like, yeah. I don't think it was until he went fully, like, he switched his face to Kosaka Kira. I think was when I started finding Kira creepy. Because he wasn't, like, that creepy to me at first. He was just, like, a guy. It's like, oh, this is just an evil dude. It's just another evil guy. And then is when this... When he went to Kosaku and this stuff started happening, and he started really, like, doubling down on the freaky creepiness. Started being scary. And I really started liking the character. Um, so I, I, that's one of the reasons I wanted him, is that his animation is from my favorite Kira scene. Um, but he's not that remarkable. I mean, it, I'm not going to say if you... I mean, I guess, no, you shouldn't pull if you haven't yet. It feels a little stupid to do that now, because obviously everybody who's gonna has already done it. Um, so, you know, should you pull on Kira? Probably not, but whatever. You probably did by now if you did it. Uh, should you pull on this? This travesty of on to God? Um, yeah, probably. If you don't have Part 4 Jotaro or Voice Josuke, you should still pull on it. Because, like, they're both really good. Like, really good. Um... I mean, Part 4 Jotaro is still the best character in the game. Voice Josuke is probably still a top 10. Like, yeah, you should pull on it. <laughs> I Basically, whenever I'm not using a Time Stopper, I'm using Voice Josuke as, like, a support. 
for the, or, or whenever I'm whenever I'm picking the character on my team that's not a time stopper. If I'm not using like two, it's either like voice risotto or voice Josuke. Because voice Josuke is crazy. He's good. The man is good. The man is good. He acts like you hate it on his hair all the time, uh, and he's good. And part four Jodo obviously is. I don't need to explain it. There's about seven. I feel like there there's more videos about this game explaining why Part 4 Jotaro is better than everybody else than there is all the other types of content on this game combined. So I probably don't need to talk about that anymore. But um, should you pull on a banner with two of the best characters in the game? Yes. Will you probably get Okuyasu instead and be really sad about it? Yes. So, sorry. Let me know in the comments how many of you pulled Okuyasu, and I will console you all individually. I, I make that pledge right now. That every single person that pulled Okuyasu or Yuya Fungami instead of Part 4 Jotaro or uh, Voice Josuke, you tell me in the comments and I will, I will console you. Anyway, that's all I got. Do the YouTube things like comment, subscribe, click the bell. Obviously, we are going to be moving into a more heavy JoJo focus, as I don't know which one's going to go up first between this or the Stardust Shooters video, but in that one, I also say the same thing. So... We're going to be moving the content uh, more in a JoJo-based direction. There's a lot of JoJo stuff that I just want to do. And, like, I love the universe so much. And there's so much to talk about. Anime, video games, the manga series is that are probably not going to get animated until I'm 55 years old. All, all this JoJo stuff that I just want to embrace the lore for it as much as I can. And I want to talk about it. And I want to do it and play it. And I want all you guys to do all that stuff with me and talk about it and play it and have a good time. So... We're going to be doing more JoJo things. I hope you guys are cool with that not just being a pitter-patter-pop-centric JoJo thing. Um, I'll still be doing stuff like my Final Fantasy VII playthrough and, like, Pokemon videos. but And, of course, I'll still be doing pitter-patter-pop. Uh, but we're just going to be bringing in even more JoJo just to blow the JoJo bubble up as big as I can. <laughs> okay, guys. So I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Uh, I'm not going to talk about this banner because I already complained about it the whole time. So I'm going to be starting a different... I just wanted to do one on... Kasako Kira while he's still up, but uh, I'm going to be doing a different video, like, st style, I guess. It's not really a style. It's just going to be, like, some silly videos on Pitter Patter Pop that's just about, like, using crappy characters. Anyway, you'll see when I do it, uh, and I will talk to you guys later. Good night. Bye. See ya. Bye. Later. Goodbye.